basically now I come, you know, to the group, basically, if you did not make it this year, what's next? So, where to? <laughs> Get that? So, where to? <laughs> um, so, basically, the first option is for you to rewrite your exams. Um, you know, like, in the, basically, in the next window that opens up. So, that's usually, I think, if I'm correct, it's between, between April and June. That's when you are allowed to rewrite um, your exams. And the nice thing about it is that you actually get to rewrite the subjects that you want or you feel that you want to improve on um, to get better marks. So, again, that also, again, provides you with what I call a gap year, yeah, but I will explain just um, a little bit later on as to what gap year is. What is a gap year? So, basically, a gap year is, as it says, a gap year. Think about it. You've been studying for the past 12 years without a break, and everyone needs a break somewhere, somehow, and which is why I personally believe this is my opinion. I personally believe most students actually do need to um, take a gap year. What a gap year provides you, it provides you with time. Time to sit down, first of all, to relax. Um, you know, get to catch, catch a breath because, as I'm saying, for the past 12 years you've been after academics, you know, like studying, 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 studying in this routine. Now, it, 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 it gives you time to relax. And also, if you are like me, because I actually took a gap year um, after I completed my matric, because what I wanted to be, what I wanted to be actually originally was to fly planes. I wanted to become a pilot, but then, obviously, it's such a very expensive adventure um, that I could not afford at the time and I could not find bursaries to do it. So I did not give up on it, just put it on a pause for now. But then I was like, I still wanted to go to a higher learning institution at a university. And I was kind of thinking, basically, now just giving a little bit of context about my story as to why I took a gap year. Then I did not know basically what to, st what to study. But then I realized that actually, I think it was around grade 11 in metric that I picked up. I used to do accounting in grade 10, but I did not like it. Also, I did not fail it, but just that I did not like it at all. Um, because general ledger. Yes, I know finance people, this is like the basic, but that thing used to irk me, irk me, no, it used to kill me, general ledger, because that thing, it never, it never wanted to balance for me. So then I moved, tried geography, then I realized actually I'm in love with geography. It's, uh, for me, it was a subject I, I assumed that, yo, I can actually use this in my daily life, you know, um, and also, I was very curious, you know, to learn about, you know, the Earth and everything, which is why now I'm actually like uh, <laughs> into all this space stuff and, you know, the weather itself. Then I'm like, oh, okay, then maybe I can, at the university, I can do a course around that. Then my other passion, where I realized then at the time, well, I'm not sure if anyone still has a DVD player then. So we used to have like, v <clears throat> you know, like your VHS cassettes and DVD players. Then most of these used to come with like, you know, the extras where you'd have like a director's commentary there where the director's talking about oh how we made this movie or, you know, like the actors like, oh, this is what we did behind the scenes or they show you like how they shot certain um, sequences. Then I'm like, this is interesting. And actually I'm in love with this. Then that's where my gap here provided me with that um, you know, time to think and get to hone in uh, into what I actually wanted to do. I'm like, these are the two things that I love. And actually, I was fortunate enough when I actually eventually went to the university that I ended up, I did a degree in film studies and environmental and geographic sciences. So basically the two things I love, I managed to combine it. Um, and even now, it's my professional work. I do use, I, well, the film side, I, I use it quite, a, quite the most, but I also do, uh, for example, the times where I need to check if I'm doing something about the weather, etc., to make sure that I'm, I know what I'm, I'm talking about. Uh, so, again, this is what the gap year provides. It gives you time to think. And also, you don't have to, also during the gap year, you also get a chance to do some work. So I used to work at the restaurant. There, I also learned some skills, especially people skills, you know, 
he helped me by the time I went to school. You know, like you, you certain things that you learn while you interacting with people. That by the time now you come to the university, you use those skills on how to negotiate life and basically how to work on your academics. Um, again, I will find time to do a much longer video on basically what you can do on some of the things that you can do during your gap year. So that's basically it. And then again, when it comes to gap year, especially for parents, parents hate gap years. And especially if you've um you're like the first generation in the family to go to the university everyone not just your family it's your family you know your village or your city or wherever that you come from everyone is looking up to you to go to the university go to the college you know become this big person that you know everyone will be proud of yes there's also that pressure which is why sometimes it's better to sit with your parents you know to talk about the options and actually why it's important that you want to take a gap here you know like to get time to think because think about it most people most of you, you you only have what a couple of months to make decisions that will affect your entire rest of your life basically on what you want to study and all those things so if your school also especially if you're in grade 11 or matric did provide you with um job shadowing kudos 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 i hope all schools are able to do that so that you get to see basically that oh this is what you want and this is what you can do okay and so again another thing with gap year is that it can also especially if you want to become an entrepreneur or a business person it also gives you time you know to think and also to hold again use your skills so for an example you're a good you like you're a good cook how about for an example you, you start a business then about know how to be a chef basically or for example you're good at drawing how to do people's portraits no not like rasta yep like that and also this is also gives you time you know to do like research especially your academic i'm sorry to do research basically obviously of what you want to study and also what bursaries are available out there for what you actually want to study you know